Hey guys, this will be a series of videos regarding K-1 or the fiancé visa. First of all, let's take time to know more and understand what is a K-1 visa, its eligibility and requirements needed. K-1 is a type of visa for fiancé or fiancée of a U.S. citizen. So one of you must be a U.S. citizen and that's the petitioner. The foreign fiancé is what we call the beneficiary. So in our case, Tim is the petitioner and I'm the beneficiary. Now, let's discuss about the eligibility for fiancé visas. One, you are a U.S. citizen, so that's the petitioner. You and your fiancé intend to marry one another within 90 days of your fiancé's admission to the United States on a K-1 non-immigrant visa. So once the visa is granted, um, the visa is good for six months, but the 90 days will start the moment you enter the U.S. So let's say after my K-1 was granted January 1, let's say I decided to just um, go to the U.S., um, book the ticket and um, go to U.S. by February 1. So the 90 days starts by February, February, uh, March, April, May. So February to May 1, that's your 90 days. So within that 90 days, you have to marry uh, or if not, then yeah, um, the beneficiary will have to go home or she will be somewhat like deported. You and your fiancé are both legally free to marry. This means both are uh, either single or if previously married, it's uh, the marriage is terminated by divorce, death, or annulment. Don't file if the divorce is still ongoing or not yet finalized. You must both be cleared upon filing. So let's say um, the petitioner is separated and filed for a divorce, but... And the divorce is not yet finalized. It's like it's still um, on the process, ongoing process. So um, don't file your I-129F application if the divorce is not yet finalized. You because um, that will be likely be denied. You and your fiance met each other in person at least once within the two-year period before you file your petition. It doesn't matter how many times you have met or how long you have known each other online. What the USCIS wants to see is that you have at least met even once in person within the two-year period when you file the application. For example, me and Tim have known each other online since November 2017. We had our in-person meeting September 2019. We filed for our K-1 application February 2020. So that's within the two-year period. If, if, if lang ha, if we filed K-1 application December 21, 2021, then that is no longer within the two-year period. USCIS will likely deny the application. Tim and I can file K-1 application right after we met in person between September 2019 to September 2021, so that's within the two-year period. You may request a waiver of this in-person meeting requirements if you can show that meeting in person would violate the strict, long-established customs of your fiancé's foreign culture or social practice or result in extreme hardship to you, the U.S. citizen petitioner. But this is a long shot and risky, so hopefully you, you won't be in a situation where you cannot meet in person. At least meet in person within the two-year period prior to filing, so low risk of getting denied. It is the petitioner who will file the application, though it is up to you guys whether you will do it yourself or if you are willing to pay the extra, then use an immigration assistance. Um, like immigration attorney, something like that. But in our case, um, we did it ourselves. So that's on a separate video. I will put the link below how we prepared our I-129F application. If you and your partner is now ready to start the K-1 application and you both have the eligibility, then here's a checklist of documents you need to prepare. 
I will also put the link below of a separate video for the detailed explanation of the checklist of requirements. The K-1 visa process takes time, but please don't focus on how much waiting time it would be. Instead, while working on your K-1, take the time to get to know more each other, to nurture the relationship. Since you are considering marriage, ask the difficult yet good questions that will both help you explore what would be your future marriage would be like. Ask questions that will help you learn more about the person you want to marry. And that's all for now. Good luck!